Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. <laughs> In today's video, we are talking about the Kush y'all, the great Kush y'all grow off y'all. You know, we are gonna weigh these big babies and we are gonna measure them and we are gonna see what we got, you know, because we wanna inspire everybody to grow their own groceries. That's absolutely right y'all. We want to motivate everybody to grow their groceries. Like Mr. H said, this is the great Kush y'all grow off. And of course we are not participating, but we are showing you what we've done. And right here on the table, we have a couple of our largest cushion, one of our medium size, one a little less than medium. And then we have a really, really small one. Um, and then we also have a surprise on the ground here that we're gonna share with y'all too, a little later on in this video. It's thundering, Mr. H. Yes. That's what I, I was just thinking about that. Every time we talk about Kush, y'all, we are always in a thunderstorm. The rain come. <laughs> Is it something about the Kush, y'all, and I rain? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe we probably can make it rain if we just grow I Kush, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, y'all, we have our Kush, y'all, on this table. And like Mr. H said, we're going to show them to you. And I have my little kitchen scale right here that I'm going to use to weigh them up. I'm not going to move it because when I move it, it don't act right. Okay. So I have to, I'm zeroing it back out. So okay. I have to leave it stationary. But y'all know I'm going to tell y'all the truth back. <laughs> so, yeah. And I also have my, um, my little measuring tape here, you all. This is... Um, not a standard tape. Y'all know what this is. is. If you sew, you know what this is, right? So this is my little tape measure here. And we're going to be using this to measure the length and the cushion at the widest point. We're going to be measuring that as well, okay? Because we want to give you an idea of how big the largest ones are that we grew along with the weight. Now, one thing that we wanted to do was answer some of the questions, and I know it was quite a few questions, Ms. H. Yes, the first question uh, come to mind is, is the Kushaw part of the, the melon family or the squash family? Squash family, but I don't think any, I don't think um, any, um, no, you, 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 you know, you know the, you know, when it comes to melon and squash, this is a part of a, a squash family. Yes. And it's, you know, kind of likened to a really big pumpkin, but it's actually just a squash variety yeah. that gets very, very, very large. Yes. Okay. And actually, I don't know why to me, but being, you know, thinking back, being a little girl, to me, it seemed like they were so much bigger. It just seemed like they was this big, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, but some of you had some additional questions where you were asking also about when to harvest this cushion. Oh, Ooh, yes. The sweetheart then brought us some water. When to harvest. Come sweetheart, say hi to everybody. Hi. They can't see you. There she go. Okay, Miss Beautiful, go on. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you, Miss Beautiful. <laughs> She's Miss Beautiful. <laughs> None can compare. <laughs> Oh boy. Mm. Taking a commercial break? Yeah. After these messages, we'll be right back. Okay. She put the perfect amount of lime in there, didn't she? Yes. Boy, she knows us. Ooh, that was great. Yeah. But all right, settle down. Okay, so now you all, <clears throat> we're going to answer your question about when to harvest. And typically you want to harvest your cushion when they are more than 12 inches long, okay? Now, for example, we're going to start with this one right here. It's a smaller one. Mr. H has it below, down by him. And I'm going to measure this from stem. Well, not maybe the stem, but like from the Top. tip here all the way down. And this one is about 13 and a half inches long and about i'm just gonna let that go whoops okay i'll hold it for you okay there i got it go. and about 27 inches around so 13 long 27 around that's just over a foot and this is a great cushion right here that you can harvest at this stage okay 
So now can they, you, you'll give them a close up of it. So that is that one, okay? 13 inches long. I forgot how much I said around. 27, I think I said around. That's a perfect cushion if you don't want them to get too big. And it weighs, let me make turn it back on. I hear that thunder and it's cooling down. You feel that? Yeah. You just better hope it don't. Don't pour down on us? Yeah. Not yet. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, that is just a little over 10 pounds, you all. Yeah. Just a little over 10 pounds, that one. 10 pounds. Yeah. So that's a 10 pound squash. Okay. Squash number one. 10 pound squash. Now this itty bitty one, when is it, when are they too small? <laughs> I would say this is a little too small. <laughs> yeah. And normally y'all, when we harvest our kushaw at the uh, end of the summer, when it's just so hot and the plants are dying back anyway. Yeah. So, so we just give this to the chickens. Yeah. We normally we just give, give it chicken to the food. Chicken. We bust it open. And give it to the chicken. And they tear it up. Yeah. <laughs> But I did say I wanted to cut this open, Mr. H, so I could show them what it looks like on the inside and would I cook that. Okay. So now I, I don't know how much it weighs. Okay, let me get Let some. me see how much it weighs. That's a one pounder. One pound, 13.3 ounces is what it weighs. One okay. pound, 13.3, so that's an itty bitty one. Yeah, so we gonna need a knife. Yeah, I have it right here on that tray. Okay. Yeah. Let me move this over here. You want the tray? And that way we can, I don't know if they can see that. Can yeah, they can see, see it, see? So we're going to cut into that. Watch yourself. Don't, don't, don't cut yourself. Okay. I would cook it. I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll get it and show it to them. I'll show them a half of it. See? And it smells great. Yeah. Now it's gonna be small. It's not gonna be a lot. Of course, you're gonna scoop all of that inside out and then you'll peel the outer skin off. And then you just have the flesh here that you'll cut into cubes or whatnot and you'll cook it down stove top. And I would actually cook this to tell you the truth and it would be very good. Look at this, I mean, it's got plenty of moisture. So I would cook this. It's not dried out and all of that. Mm -hmm. Now there are no seeds in here that have developed at all. You can see that the seeds. Some on this side. See, they're not developed. They were trying. They're not ready yet. See those seeds? They're not developed enough to plant. Mm -hmm. So it's a very immature kushaw. We know that. Uh oh. It's a very immature kushaw. But I was still. You I'm still telling you, I would still cook that. You still deal with it? Yes, sir. I would. If that's if that's all I had, mm -hmm. I would save every last one of them, clean them up and cut them up, and I would cook each and every one of them, y'all. It's a wasp right there. You want me to get him? Where you get? Okay. Right there. I got him. I don't know what he's doing, but he's he's creeping me out. Wow. That's, that's a big step. Yeah, he wasn't even flying. Like, something was wrong with it. Yeah. So you also, that's those two squash right there. So the <clears throat> next one is a medium sized squash. Contest, also. Contested number two really out of the, the, the big size. Y'all see him? That's a nice cushion, all right? Woo! Okay, okay, so let's see how long this one is from the top up here. Mm -hmm. we'll take them all the way down to the bottom. These are good 19 and a half. We got 19 He's and a half. 19 and a half. I'm going to take them around the, all right. 19 and a half. 30, 31. 31. 31 wide, 19 and a half. That's a nice cush, y'all. And this one, I'm going to put it on the scale, weighs almost 17 pounds. Almost 17 pounds, y'all. 16.96. Six ounces. All right. Let me clear that, make sure that's clear. So that's a good one. And then this one will be next because he's not the biggest, but he's big. Yeah. All right. Whoa. Okay. All right. And then we have this one. Yeah. Now this, all right. Now this one is more long. Yes, it is. Then, you want me to take it to him so they can see? Yeah, I, I can take it to him. 
Yeah, this one See, is this long. See, this one is more long, but it's it's not as wide at the base. Yeah. So but we that's can... still a beautiful cushion. This one, oh, let me turn it over. This one is 20 inch, or is that little, stand it back up straight? So this one is about 20 and maybe a quarter inches. And then the width of it, of course, is not gonna be as big. What is that? 27 and a half. It looks like it's just as wide as the other one. Hold on, right here. This is the biggest one. Yeah, it is. 27 and a half, go figure. Wow. Guess by being so long. I guess so. It just yeah. don't look like it. Oh, did we weigh it? Oh. Sixteen point. Sixteen point nine. Yeah. Wasn't the other one sixteen point nine? Yeah. About the same size. Wow. So it just got a longer. It's just longer. So I guess that's making up for it. Yeah. Wow. That that's a good one. We got ants. All right, so now the last one of our cushion. This is the one you named Thunder. That's Thunder. We're going to see what Thunder <laughs> talking about, y'all. They can't see Thunder. Okay, here's Thunder. It's like Thunder. Lightning. This is Thunder. Is that him? I don't think that's Thunder. Is that Thunder? I think so. Let's see. I guess so. I guess so. It must be, because we didn't take the other big ones in. Yeah. Thunder is also... Nine, now, he's a, he's 20 inches long. Thunder is 20 long. And I don't know if they can see. Let me back him up some. There we go. Yeah, there you go. Thunder is 20 long. Come on. Let me fix this. There we go. Is he around? Yeah. All right. Wow. 20 long, what is that, 32? 32. 20 mm -hmm. long, 32 at the base. So this is our largest one right here. Should weigh more than others. Definitely, I'm gonna put this right here in the middle. Let me clear it out, make sure it's clear. All right. Scale breaker, era. <laughs> 21 pounds. 21 pounds. Wow. 21.1. That's pretty good. 21 wow. pounds. We got us a 21 pounder. We got us a 21 pound cushion. Now that right there is phenomenal. Yeah. You all, I'm telling you. So the reason why we are doing this, what is Bill doing all the way over here? The reason why we are doing this, you all, is because we just want to show you and encourage you and motivate you to grow your own groceries. Now, another question was how do we fertilize these? we don't yes we um, just let them go you got your red tray yeah we do not fertilize these at all you all we um we had some wood chips dumped and when we dumped the wood chips um we had some that remained behind and they just stayed there and broke down over time and then we just start planting in them you know we moved the wood chips back got to the soil dropped some seeds covered them back up and just start growing stuff and that's how we had been doing it. This year was our first year adding black cow, yeah, cow manure compost into the hole. Yeah. And then we put in our transplant and our seeds. And, and then they exploded. Once that yes. rain came, boom. They were growing fast. And we got cush y'all. Yeah, they were growing fast. So we didn't do a whole lot of uh, fertilizing at all. They just got whatever was in the ground. The wood chips, of course, does add some nutrition um because they broke down and, and the black cow added some nutrition for them as well but that was it and we didn't even water them when we planted them so when it rained that helped out i think i watered one time yeah. as we stated in the other video and y'all can see what we got we got us a yeah. nice harvest a kush y'all and i can say with this squash this squash would help you through hard times. Oh my goodness, y'all. It lasts. And I'm gonna tell you, that's a great segue into the next point because um, it lasts such a very long time. In fact, we put a couple to the side from last year's 
harvest. We just save to see, them. Just to see how long these cooks y'all would last. Will they last from one harvest to the next, right? So we have here, right here by Miss H. It don't look pretty, but we want you to see it. This cush y'all is a year old. Yeah. You can see the difference. You can see the coloring is now more yellow. It's starting to get some uh, damage to it. Not, It's not soft under no circumstances, okay? But it's yellowing, all right? Yeah. So it don't look, for example, like this. The coloring well, on the outside. You see how beautiful and bright this is? How beautiful white and green that is. That's how they all looked when we harvested them initially, right? And this one, as you can see, doesn't look like that. Yeah. It's all yellow. Look at the spots on it. You can see yeah. it's old, right? Yeah. And so. But we don't know how the insides look. We don't know what to expect because, like I said, we put this one to the side for a whole year. We kept it in a cool place. It wasn't hot yes. or anything like that. It stayed in a cool place and that's where it's been for one year out of the way. Okay. Yeah. So <clears throat> you all now, before we get started with cutting this open, showing you all what the one year old cush y'all looks like. Another question I think was how, how, how many people will it feed or something like that? Mr. H, if you could just grab any one of them. Okay. I just grabbed this. One. Okay. This one, Push y'all right here. This one family of four will probably feed y'all. This would probably probably be, uh, you know what? I'm not gonna guesstimate that for you all because it depends on like how much you eat. But yeah. wait, <laughs> yeah. But like for us, this squash right here, you all will make. This is seven days easy. Right? Or yeah. do you think less than that or more? I, than I think that? I think seven days easy would, would be good. Yeah. So this one kushaw will give us seven meals. Mm-hmm. And that's not we're not gonna eat it every day, right? I don't yeah. wanna eat it every day. But if I had to like a meal, this one would give us a week's worth of meals. I don't know, Mr. H. It might be a little more than that to I think it really depends on how much people eat. I see eat. a lot of ants up here. They yeah. gathered around the stem. That's the reason why I'm holding it like this. I was okay. trying to set it down. <laughs> oh, You're like, ahead. hold on, hold on, no, hold on. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> okay, because we got a little ant problem here. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, them ants are something else, I tell you. <laughs> so, you, um, so something that big, and I'm talking about like several meals for several, you know, like two, three, four people, right? Mm -hmm. So that one kushaw will give you multiple meals. And like I said, I'm just really guessing at that because it may be more because- I think it's more because you're gonna be eating other things with it. True. You know, and and I think it, it would probably, you know, like if you add, you know, corn or, uh, you know, other yeah. sides and then you have food, you know, Some this could- a meat or something. Yeah, if you preserve it correctly, it, could, it can spread around for, for quite some yes, time. Yes, it will. Yes, yeah. it will. It'll last you for a good, good while, you all. In fact, what I do is some of them I will can when it gets, which takes me to the next question. How do you preserve it? Some of it I dice it up and I pressure can it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have a video on pressure canning kush y'all. If I don't, I'm going to do one. Um, that's one way to preserve the kush y'all. Another way that I preserve the kushaw is I take it, I blanch it in boiling water for about three minutes, and then I drop it in some ice cold water or just some cold water in the sink. And that just kind of cools it down. And then once it cools down, I take it and put it on just a sheet pan with some parchment paper, you all, and then just kind of flash freeze it. And once you flash freeze it, you could take it out and then put it in freezer bags and you'll want to portion it according to your family size. So I wouldn't say put a, a one gallon bag in the freezer. I would say if it's just a couple of you or three or four of you, you could probably use quart size bags and you can portion it that way. And that way when you get ready to eat it, all you have to do is take it out, put it on the counter for a couple hours and then put it in your saute pan and cook it right on up. Okay. 
or you can cook it yeah you can cook it you can put it in if you have a freeze dryer you can cook it put it in your freeze dryer and you can preserve it that way as well okay so you have multiple ways of preserving it but my favorite way is to pressure can it yes yeah yeah that's my favorite <clears throat> way and, and my favorite way is uh having mrs h just to cook it straight out like she did the last time yeah that'll work that's like it's one of the best um, tasting squash that I, I mean, it's one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah. Yes, ours, you know, I'm telling you, we love that squash, mine too. We love mm -hmm. that squash. And it's very easy to prepare. You're talking about a skillet with some butter, some sugar, some cinnamon, some nutmeg. I like Ooh. a little ginger in mine, a little salt and uh, white pepper. Oh, I think it's time for us to get in the house, y'all. The wow. storm is really getting crazy. Look at that tree! Oh yeah, the tree is looking kind of dangerous. Okay. Oh my goodness! Okay, it's time to Wait, go. wait, 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 wait! Wow! Oh my god! Okay. Yeah. It's passing, I think. Woo! I think it's time to go. Yeah. Hey, We're gonna get ready to roll. <laughs> what you trying to do? All right, y'all. We got to get ready to get on up out of here. Mrs. H want to stay. We forgot one thing. What? We were going to cut you so Oh, wow. Well, I okay, think, uh, it's gone now, baby. It's gone. You think it's gone? Yeah, the wind is gone now. <laughs> that tree was down. leaning and Mrs. H was looking at it like, oh. <laughs> you can see the wind going that way. You can see it. Look at the trees. Yeah. This down so we can. <laughs> there we go. Mrs. Nate want to stay in the in the. She want to stay in the in the in the. Um... You can literally see. Look, you can literally look and see the wind still going, as how it's doing the trees. Okay. That is really something. Whoa. Okay, Mrs. H. Okay. Y'all, Mrs. H was finna get ghosts on me like I did him when it started lightning. But anyway, <laughs> y'all, we are gonna go down and cut this over so y'all can see. So now we are cutting open the one year old Kush off. Yeah. Oh, wait, maybe we should bring them close to the stage. Okay. So they can see. And I'm going to angle them down. Okay. All right, this is the one year old Kush off, y'all. Bring your blades all the way before you cut yourself. How we looking? Wow. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at that. A year old cushion. A one year old cushion. Yeah. Wow. Looking good. Now the seats. Look at that. So now one thing I'll say about this. Oh good, oh good, oh good. It's okay, it's okay. Y'all can come on up if y'all trying to come back. Oh, I hear that thunder too. All right, so now the seeds now are not good. These seeds are no good. Look at these seeds. They're flat. Look at that. They're flat. So you can't save the seeds from a one-year-old cushion. Wait a minute. That one looks pretty good. I don't know. Maybe you can. Look at that. Yeah, some of these feel that. Oh, yeah. yeah, these feel good. Yeah, they feel good. Yeah, some of them are still real good. So let's push y'all standing the test of time. One year. A one-year-old squash. Look at that. That looks beautiful. Yeah. So if you were able to successfully, I'm going to cover this back up because I don't want anything getting on the inside, but you can see how well it looks, both pieces. Look at that. And look at how soft and how pliable that is. It's still good, though. Look at that. I'm gonna close it up. Yeah. But y'all, wow. But you all. <laughs> yep. The wind is coming back, y'all, and um. Uh, you can say Chicago. Huh? You can say Chicago. 
Yeah, with these stones. It's looking like the Windy City out here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So, as you can see, the seeds, some of the seeds are still real good. This one-year-old Kushaw is doing just fine. And now that we've cut it open, I have to cook it. But, y'all, if you can, grow these. I know there are probably some questions that I'm not answering. But, y'all, we got to get out of this. <laughs> yeah. It looks like it's about to storm. Yeah, and these, tree, these trees out here are leaning. They're leaning like this, and they're very tall. So... They got that lean? Yeah. So, I think we should go ahead and uh, cut this video short. Yeah. It feels good out here. It do feels good, though. It actually feels pretty good now that the heat is, because it was so hot. Yeah. So, now it feels really, really good. It's just we got a lot of wind coming. Yeah, and a lot of tree, trees leaning. So, by saying that. So, y'all. Because <laughs> you know we have had problems with trees in the past. So, so was there um, any other questions that you could think of that were asked in the previous video that we forgot to address? Um, uh, about the cush out. Hmm. Yeah. No, I can't think of any more questions. What about you? I don't know. But if y'all have any questions, just post put, it in the comment section. Yeah, yeah, just put it in the comment section and then, you know, we'll, uh, get back to you on that yeah we'll do our best to answer your questions and then some some of you may already know the answer <coughs> but uh, some yeah. of you may know the answer and if you do it's a lot of folks in the comment section who can answer those questions for you as well if by chance we miss some okay yes and so this is the great kush y'all great kush y'all grow off and right now our biggest kush y'all was sitting at what was it 21 yes 21 21 pounds yes 21 pounds wow yeah but on average each one of them was what 16 yeah on average about 16 pounds 16 17 pounds this one was 20 the largest was 21 pounds yes so so that was a really nice size cushion you all so yeah we went ahead and ripped them all up um, what we're going to put in its place is some pumpkin. We're getting ready to grow some pumpkin and that's going to go in the place of the Kushaw for... We got leaves in the summer falling, y'all. The fall garden. <laughs> Look at this. It's July, y'all. Leaves. Look at these crispy leaves. Oh, They're showing y'all how hot it's been. These crispy leaves, leaves. in July. <laughs> Ain't that something? Oh, man. It's crazy, crazy. But, uh... But yeah, the great kush y'all grow off. And um, we the did sunflowers next. Yeah, the sunflowers is next. We got sunflowers that we're about to harvest too, so we can show y'all what the sunflowers look like from the great kush y'all grow off, y'all. So I think we have, uh, I, I can't think of any other questions that they may have uh, yes. asked about this squash but, and how long does it take to grow. Um, it took us approximately. Ten and a half weeks to get that largest kush off. And the transplants that we put in the ground, I believe, were two weeks old. But then again, we did put a lot in the ground that were just seeds. And we still got a lot from those as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, y'all, I think that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give our video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that we upload to our channel. Thank y'all again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings. Yes, yes, y'all. Peace. <laughs> to each and every one of you, we'll go see y'all in the next video. Okay. Oh, God. Leave the father. You scared. <laughs> don't be scared. No, I'm just aware. You aware? I'm just aware. Of the trees swaying in the yeah, wind? Yeah, they was leaning like this, y'all. This is H was starstruck. <laughs> looking like this. I'm like, we need to go on and get on in now. The tree leaning like that. She, it was bowing in prayer. <laughs> that's why you, yeah. she was at all. It I'm was like, bowing itself in prayer. <laughs> it was acknowledging the greatness of the creator. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's guess, why they did that. I guess you're right about that one then. Yeah, they was bowing. <laughs> I understand just like them sunflower heads. You see how they bowing? Yeah. <laughs>